our first project is a success because uh, we have 100% occupancy, we have young families that are working very hard at maintaining their homes because these are brand new homes. Uh, it's successful because we have our housing authority doing a good job of, of training and communication with the, with the young tenants to maintain these units so that they understand that these units are built to last a lifetime, 30, 40, 50 years. And that's success. Seeing something from the uh, uh, raw ground out there that is just sagebrush, a whole bunch of weeds that are out there, and uh, to be able to follow it through from the uh, soil analysis to the survey, uh, to be able to get the families out there to um, take a look. You know, I want my road right there. I want the power pole over here, you know, the drain field, you know, all the specifics of housing development go through months and months and months of that. You know, uh, to me, housing development takes anywhere from three to five years. It should take three to five years. And at the very end of all of that, you know, seeing the contractor, doing the negotiations, uh, being able to uh, get everything come together like that. And then when the family comes over and the child gets off the bus and the child runs over that way, oh, that's my house. No, wait a minute, your house is over here. And that little, little boy runs over there and says, oh, this is my bedroom. This is my bedroom because uh, my mom let me choose this bedroom. <gasps> that, <laughs> oh, excuse me. That is the most beautiful feeling to see that, to be able to, to um, give the family a brand new house. Learning the leveraging process through that development project to where we've now applied for a Title VI so that we're better using the um, Congress's, the taxpayers' money responsibly when it comes to, to leveraging for increased housing. Well, on the projects that I've worked, I mean, again, it's just seeing the person that, that had no house or, or is living with a bunch of other family members and, and all of a sudden now they have their own house. And I think in the family's view, I mean, they just opens up possibilities that one, I mean, they're enjoying something that they never imagined they'd have. And so um, it's, it's a, a dream come true pretty much for these, for these uh, families. What's important because uh, there's, there's, um, there's such a variety of circumstances. And so tribes are usually so different than, than, than cities or than some of the other uh, uh, municipalities. And so they have unique challenges. Uh, there's some that are, that are rural, and so there's just a, a bigger need for infrastructure and, and just more money in general. And then working in, in, in reservations, there's also challenges with, with contractors and, and people wanting or having um, some, some reservations on, on working on the reservation. And so again, th this money really helps to be able to do these projects. The challenges as far as being tribes are, are just uh, so different than, than regular municipalities. And so um, the, the benefits though are, are great because we're able to use that money and help people that are really in need. And so uh, although the challenges are there, uh, it makes it worth it when you see the end product and, and you see the families move into these houses and, and you see their smiles on their face and that makes a big difference. I guess it's important for us, for the state of Montana to realize the positive impact that the tax credit program has provided for not only the Blackfeet tribe, but all the tribes within Montana. You know, we have an overwhelming need for housing, and my housing authority, we have a waiting list of 389 people on that waiting list. And through tax credits, we've been able to put 175 new houses into the, onto the reservation that uh, directly serve the Blackfeet members. Young families that have not had the experience of having a brand new, living in a brand new home are now moving into this new home and taking 
great responsibility to take care of it, uh, to maintain it themselves, and, and I really see it as a program that's going to help them graduate to home ownership because now once they are established in a career somewhere and decide that I'm ready to take on a mortgage once they've had an opportunity to build their credit, um, they have the skills necessary to take care of a home and that home being their own to maintain it and be able to pass that on to their children you know, to build to start building wealth in, in a family and that's something that I think in Indian country is really important is the idea of wealth building by passing on property that is yours.